Hey everybody, Sharon here from TheGimmyAct.com. Here we are today back in Sagebrush, grabbing the Archivist achievement. This is to find all of the tape decks in the game. This is going to be the game's form of collectible. Starting off in the starting area, which one of these one head into the starting cabin. Turn to your right to go into the mess hall, and on this picnic table is going to be your first tape deck. What you have to do is you have to interact with it. It's going to play you a little bit of an audio recording. You have to listen through the entire thing, and after that's done, you have control of your character again. After grabbing your first one, make sure you get all of the keys in the cabin. First one is in that box right there. It's the generator key. Open up this first room on the left and look to the right of this bookshelf for the gate and farm shed keys. Make sure you grab those. Very important to progressing through the story and getting the rest of the collectibles. Make sure you leave through the front door and with the gate key, you can open up the gates to have access to the greater compound and you now have free roam of the game. So the next collectible is going to be around the corner. So make sure you wrap around the fence and you want to head straight. You'll notice this small building in the background. You want to head straight to it. It's going to be the shed. Use that shed key that we picked up earlier in order to open it. And in here is going to be collectible number two, as well as some batteries, which you can power your flashlight, which will help you out a bunch when the sun goes down and you can't see anything. So make sure you grab both of them. And before you leave, make sure you grab the key out of this jacket right here on the right side of the shed make sure you leave and you want to kind of backtrack to the starting area all right from the opening of the gate which one do you want to head straight you will notice this chain link fence here which behind it is going to be a trailer park you want to head in that direction so from the opening right here you want to go straight and you want to look towards your left you should notice this first trailer is chained up what you want to do is you want to go to the trailer that's right next to it. So go over here to this trailer right here in the middle of the park. You will know it's the right trailer that if you look on the sign, it should say Brother Andrew. So once you are here, use that key we picked up from the jacket in order to open up the trailer. And in here is going to be your next audio recording. So after you pick that up, you want to look on the bed for the next key, which is going to be Viola's trailer key. So make sure you pick that up and this tasks us with going to another trailer. Once you're back out into the trailer park, what you want to do is you want to look for the two bathroom stalls where we found the pregnancy test for that achievement right here. You want to look to this set of trailers right here. It's the far side of the park. You want to go to the third one down. So this one right here, it should say Viola on the door. Make sure you open it up using that key we just grabbed. And in here is going to be yet another audio recording. So it's going to be on the sink counter right here. Make sure you pick that one up. This should be our four points, so you should get the achievement for 80 gamer score, which is for finding four tapes. Turn around, make sure you leave, and then we are out to the next one. Which one do you want to wrap around? And you want to leave the exit by the bathroom stalls. So make sure you go there. You want to go straight. You will see this red building in the background, which kind of looks like a barn. It is going to be a schoolhouse. Make sure you head on inside. This one isn't locked, so you can just walk straight in and grab the collectible straight off of this desk right here towards the front row. After grabbing that, what you want to do is want to leave through the way you came, so out the front door. You want to turn to the right. This should be the left side of the barn, so if you left the other way, it's going to be the inverse. There's going to be a generator right here. Make sure you turn it on with that key we grabbed from the starting area, and that should get the electricity on in the park, allowing us to have access to all of the electronic locks. So after that, you want to head to this building in the background right here to the left. It's straight ahead. Punch in this code in the padlock 0603. That should get the gate open. Once you are in here, you want to head through the front door, which is on the right for some reason. So open that up. And then what you want to do is you want to wrap around this room next to the staircase. In here should be a table with the next audio recording. So make sure you pick that one up. Grab the key on the right, and this should set the game to nighttime, so make sure you have your flashlight on, especially when you're outdoors, so you can avoid getting lost. Make sure you backtrack the way you came, just head back out through the front door, make sure you open up that gate we unlocked earlier. You don't have to re-punch in the code, fortunately, since the lock fell off, but what you want to do is you want to do a little bit of a backtrack, you want to head back to the school, and then from the school, you want to backtrack to the trailer park. So from the front door, get back onto the path, head through the chain link fence, and just stay on the path. And you want to keep straight until you hit the back of the trailer park, which should be this fence right here. Look to your left. There should be a trailer here that is going to be Leonard's trailer. Use that key we picked up from that house to open it. And inside should be our next tape deck. It is going to be on the bed right here. 
turn around and make sure you grab the bolt cutters by the door. The next tape is going to be pretty involved, so make sure you follow these steps exactly so you don't get lost. Back out onto the trailer park, make sure you take the main path back down until you can turn right. If you remember from earlier, there it was a trailer that was chained up. Make sure you use the bolt cutters in order to open up the chains and then head on inside. Once you're in here, you should notice a shovel. Make sure you grab that and then we want to head to the fire pit area. So you want to leave through the exit by the bathroom stalls, so make sure you take that way out. You want to kind of turn to the right, but not too far, and you want to head in this direction. It's going towards that big chapel on the hill. So make sure you wrap around here. You'll notice a big tree right here, kind of in the background. It's a little hard to see because it's nighttime, but there should be some benches and a fire pit next to it. Once you are in here, you want to go underneath said big tree and then use the shovel in order to dig up this patch of dirt right here. And then underneath it should be the key we need. Now we need to go back to the trailer park. So just head back the way you came. And then once you're here, you want to go through that same way we came out of. So turn towards the right and then next to the bathroom stalls, the closest trailer to them should be Lillian's trailer. Make sure you open up that one. And then inside here should be the next tape. This is also also tape 8 out of 12 so you should get the achievement for being at the two-thirds mark so once you pick that up and listen to it you should be good for the next achievement All right, on to the next area, which requires us to grab this key by the light switch. Make sure you grab that. You can flip the switch on if you want to. So make sure you leave the trailer, and we are going to go back out to the bathroom side. So make sure you head through that gate. You want to head back in the direction of the fire pit. So head right, and you want to follow this trajectory. You want to go past the fire pit, and you will notice the building straight ahead. You want to go towards that building. It should be this giant barn right here with this bloody door. Make sure you open up said bloody door using that key key that we got and then once you're in here you want to turn to the right make sure you grab the axe on this altar thing this will be very helpful for later and then which one do you want to climb up this ladder to get onto the second floor what a thrill Turn to your right, and by this record player is going to be the next tape deck very redundant i know Turn around and make sure you grab the key off of the podium and then back down the ladder what a thrill. From the altar thing, you want to turn right and then head back the way you came. This should be the bloody door in case you get lost. From there, turn right again and you want to go straight until you get to this building. You want to use that key we just grabbed to open up the mines. Then you want to use that axe we got on the first floor in order to cut down this set of boards. And that will give us access to the mine shaft elevator. So make sure you take that down into the mines. You want to turn left and this should take you further into the shaft. Go straight until you hit a T-shaped intersection. From there you want to hang a right and you want to follow the rail until you get another choice. Once you get that choice you want to take the left path which should be the one that's going away from the rail. Back here should be this open area. You want to look for an oil can on this shelf in the back right here. Make sure you pick that one up. Then once you have that you want to head back and then get back on to the rail line you want to follow the way that you were supposed to go which is going to be just straight ahead and then from here you can use that oil can to oil up this mine cart which should allow you to move it and then once you have it out of the way you have access to these planks use the axe to cut them down and then in here is going to be the next tape deck after that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you grab the gas can as well as interact with the dead body to have a note fallout. Read the note and that should start the end sequence of the game, which will contain the last two audio recordings. So from there, what we have to do is we have to repower the elevator. So you want to follow the rail line until you get to a cross shape intersection. From here, you want to go straight and in here is going to be another generator. You want to use the gas can we just picked up in order to power it and then turn it on that should get the lights and the elevator working again. So to find the elevator, go back onto the rail line and once you get back to that intersection, you want to hang a right. Go all the way to the right and in here is going to be the elevator. Hit up the elevator, take that back to the shaft and then you want to leave and then we are going to have to do a little bit of a long backtrack. So from here you just want to keep straight. We are backtracking all the way back to that shed from the beginning of the game. So if you keep going straight you'll hit a chain link fence. From there you want to hang a left and this should take you 
to the bottom right of the compound. Here should be that shed. If you get lost, just look around at your surroundings. If you could backtrack to the starting area, you should be able to find where everything is. But from that shed, you want to be facing it, and then you want to turn 180 degrees around, go straight until you hit the cornfield, and then there should be a patch of dirt here. Use the shovel we picked up from earlier to dig it up, and in here is going to be another key. Now we have to do another long backtrack back to the house. So from there, go straight until you hit this broken fence, which should be the right fence of the school. From there, wrap around back onto the main path and then take that up to the gate, open it up, and then head back to that house from earlier. Now that we have the key, we can get access to the second floor. If you do get lost, as long as you can find your way back to the starting point, you can just backtrack that way, head to the trailer park, head to the schoolyard, head to the gate, and then head to the house. Once you are here, go to the second floor, open it up, make sure you go up to this safe in the upper left corner, interact with the lock, punch this code in, 3564, open it up, grab the seal, and read the notes to get to the next sequence of the game. Just leave the way you came, so head back out through the door, head back downstairs, and it is on to the final area. So if you look to your left once you head outside, you will notice that chapel that has been looming over us for the entire game. You want to head over there. So back outside the gate, you want to hang a left and you want to go straight up the hill. You kind of want to keep trudging forward because this is kind of the boundary of the compound. So just keep nudging your way until you find the staircase. Once you hit up the stairs, make sure you use that seal in order to open up the chapel. Once you're inside, what you want to do is you want to look on the podium. On the right side is going to be the penultimate tape deck of the game. You have to pick it up in order to trigger the next cutscene, so make sure you pick it up. Cutscene should play out, let it play out, and once it does, this door will be unlocked. Open up the door. You have to pick up these three journals and read them in order to get the next door open, so make sure you grab those, and that should trigger the next part. So after that's done, we can head through this last tunnel and grab our last collectible in this upcoming set of bunkers. So just head through this path. The ending of the game is actually quite linear and it's really hard to get lost. So just head straight, enjoy all the nice scenery and all that stuff. But once you get into this specific bedroom kind of area, the tape deck is going to be on this desk. Pick that one up. That should be 12 of 12. Achievement should pop right here. There it is. 80 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.